smoke. Oh my god. Let's go. G'day mates, welcome back to the CPAP Reviews channel. Today we're testing out the brand new Vortex Pap. We've got some severe sleep apnea in the form of some empty Coke bottles. Zach is going to help me get ready for this. You ready? Oh, how good is that? For millions of CPAP users, the main problem is the fit of the mask, the flow, and that forced air. However, researchers at the University of Cincinnati have come up with a new solution and some new technology. It's called the Vortex Pap, and patients like it. The model that he's using now is actually pretty good. It fits in my nostrils very well. Lewis Brown has sleep apnea. I have no idea how long. Uh, my wife told me, she said, sometimes you don't... Philip Island, get your act together. Hang on, I'm gonna have to plug into Starlink. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> Good old Elon to the rescue. My wife told me she said sometimes you don't breathe uh, properly when you're sleeping. He spent a lot of time with Liren Oren and Dr. Ann Romaker at the University of Cincinnati. Mr. Brown was our first patient. We tested him three years ago, and then we brought him back now. However, it took about 10 years for the Vortex Pap to get to this point. The biggest challenge was how to make it quiet because, you know, it's very easy to pulsate airflow and kind of create these vortices, but in a quiet way was a real challenge for us. This was something that we had to, uh, you know, work very hard on. The Vortex Pap doesn't need a seal like a traditional mask. They just produce continuous airflow. The farther away you get, the less momentum. However, Oren and the team use a different flow. Put some smoke in. I'm gonna show you what a vortex looks like and what it does. And then I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna go there. So now imagine yourself, smaller scale, those are the things going through your nose, and that's why it has all this force that can keep the airway open. I can put more smoke. I want one of those guns so I can boom my kids. Oi, hey, boom. Ali, boom. Jack, boom. I might leave Zoe alone. It's her first birthday today. In there. With different styles available, the team hopes everyone can find a perfect fit. There are too many people who struggle with CPAP. They, and most of them, it's a claustrophobic feeling or feeling that things are tight, not liking things on their face. And having this option will, I think, really revolutionize care. For Brown, the biggest problem has been the tightness of traditional straps. I don't feel any stress being pulled on my skin or anything. And so I think I will be able to sleep with this a whole lot easier. For Oren, it's a dream come true. It's very fulfilling. It's amazing. I've been working on this. This has been my baby, you know, for, for so long. And, and, you know, to finally see it, you know, materialize and, and you know, all things come together. I always say, you know, the uh, uh, first few years, I figured out all the ways how this thing is not going to work. So far, so good. And Brown is looking forward to the night he can wear it. Like the thing I really need now is just airflow and just to go to sleep. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much it. A restful sleep and a new device to help make it happen. Elise Underwood, Spectrum News.